Hi, this is Wendy Harrington with today's video blog and uh, I've been thinking about sedation, how we sedate ourselves um, from being more awake um, and more alive and uh, just more aware actually and um, I remember a while ago having a dream about it that I woke up with this, um, I often wake with this kind of like, oh god yeah, like these sort of insights and um, I woke up and it was like, oh my gosh, like we're sedating ourselves and like, I'm sedating myself all the time with things in the external world. So one of my favorite uh, sedation techniques uh, is to eat bread. And obviously we've got, you know, much more extreme sedation techniques, like, you know, we might take drugs or drink alcohol or things like that in order to try and escape our reality. But actually it's going on in a much more subtle way all the time. Um, and I think, you know, I, I doubt you'll, you know, disagree with me in the fact that we're putting a lot of crap in our bodies, aren't we? As, as humanity, that, you know, a lot of the junk food that we eat these days that quite clearly as, you know, various illnesses are increasing are showing us without any doubt, hey, look, you know, guys, this stuff is not good for you. Um, and, you know, if you just think about cigarettes, how that, you know, when they came in, you know, they were actively promoted, weren't they? And then we suddenly started, realize, oh, hang on a minute, those cause cancer and then death. So gradually we are realizing, hey, this is not good for us. This is not good for us. And as you tune into your body more, you will actually just naturally eat the right things for you and you'll know the right things for you and you'll know how things make you feel, whether they completely zap all your energy and make you feel like you just want to lie down and go to sleep or whether you actually feel that you're still energized after eating. So it's a really, really interesting kind of uh, uh, journey to be on really. And it's not just food, it's also that we sedate ourselves with the television, we sedate ourselves by watching films, we sedate ourselves by um, looking for a relationship on the outside. So there's tons and tons of things that we do that mean that we are sedating ourselves all the time from making that connection inside of us. Just being too busy is another kind of sedation technique actually, there's just tons of them. <laughs> So it's really, really interesting to kind of ponder that. And um, I was reflecting because yesterday I ate a load of bread. So I thought it's so interesting as I, because what I say is, you know, let me share the wisdom that wants to be shared. Let me share this love. And then I notice myself become more and more loving. And then what I notice is there's a point where my mind starts to go, well, you can't do that. You know, don't, you know, don't do that because people will think you're odd or weird. And then I unconsciously will, you know, eat several meals of bread in the day or something like that. And I know that for me, bread really does suppress my energy. Uh, but what I've noticed nowadays is where I'm so soft on myself, I just witness all these things. And they arise and then I witness them and then that means that I don't go so far off down that I've, I've really pulled myself away from my presence. I've just, you know, maybe just veering slightly this way instead of dragging myself off. And I think that's one of the things to share is that kind of, um, yeah, awakening. And as we're awakening, just what's kind of happening and the toing and froing that we may do. So I'm going to put that actually in tomorrow's video. I want to talk a little bit more to you about awakening. So I look forward to speaking to you then. Um, as always, please leave a comment. Um, please share if you're enjoying this video series, finding it inspiring. And um, I do love for, to hear from you. It's really, really wonderful. And thank you for the amazing messages I've had so far. Um, it really, really warms my heart. And um, it's amazing to be connecting with you all and uh, I can't say thank you enough so thank you thank you thank you so I'm Wendy Harrington you're amazing and I will speak to you tomorrow bye for now